one. <laughs> Hello, monsters, oh God, bitches, and gentle folk. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Titties, a show where White Claw goes everywhere. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Not sponsored. We're Not also sponsored, Sarah. a queer and feminist. I emailed them. Live Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast run entirely by people of marginalized genders. My name is Charlene Bear and I'll be your dungeon goddess this evening. My pronouns are she, her, and you can call me Char. Before we get into the episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of Canada and how Canada has and continues to take from Indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and we acknowledge that this episode is being recorded on the stolen lands of the Sequetmik, Samiamu, Keitsi, Kwantlen, Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil and Coast Salish First Nations. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and also to support some Indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources. My pirate champion players today are ready to go. Hey, how's it going? My name is Rachel Thielade. My pronouns are she, her, and I will be playing Borba Skull Cleaver, the orc barbarian, whose pronouns are also she, her. Hey, my name is Kelly Wright, and my pronouns are they, them, and I am playing Asher Lochnir, the monk warlock, <laughs> changeling, <laughs> celestial warlock, though, so it's basically a cleric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Sarah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my name is Sarah Mayfield. My pronouns are she, her, and I play... Adamant Myandis the third, and he, him, he is a half elf wild magic sorcerer. Hello, my name is Emily Matchett. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Steve the Gnome Rogue Artificer, whose pronouns are also she, her. I want to give a shout out to Sirenscape today because we use them all the freaking time to make our stream more immersive. So check <laughs> them out, they're free at sirenscape.com. Mm hmm. And uh, we are in the Revalia. We're directly pulling from Hit Point Press's Hecna module, which is currently in its beta testing phase. Uh, go check them out and play your own spooky carnival game. Yeah. yeah. And now it is time for our Twitch shout out of the evening. Today's shout out goes to Vorpal Tales. Warple Tales started as a group of super awesome friends for life who wanted an excuse to play tabletop RPGs on a regular basis, but it soon became much more than that. Sounds a little familiar, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, Warble Tales offers a trip through the looking glass into the worlds of awesome adventures and terrifying tales. Just about every system finds its home with them. Their passion extends beyond live plays and includes supplement publishing, freelance tabletop RPG writing, demo and kickstarters, weekly podcasts, and so much more. Vorpal Tales is made up of many backgrounds, cultures, orientations, and individuals who love to take a personal interest in the well-being of their society. They love to give back and not only donate to charity, but champion other communities who share the same ideals. Come check them out and meet some of the amazing humans that make up Vorpal Tales at twitch.tv slash Vorpal Tales. They have 11 live plays. Holy uh, cow. Like, wow. Or sorry, no, they wrote this wrong. I feel like it's a, a live plays 11 times a week? Question mark. That that's was still a lot. That's a Holy lot. Cow. They do a lot. They do a lot. Like they said, almost every type of tabletop RPG. They said it all. Uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Vorpal Tales and also at VorpalTales.com. That they was a awesome. really good sell. Yeah, I want to <laughs> check them out now. Yeah. They are awesome. They're really, really nice. Potential content warnings yeah. for today's episode include post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms, paralysis, childlike monsters, marionettes and clowns, insects and maggot-like creatures, bullying, gaslighting, coercion, and mind control. Uh, as always, our players are using the X card. If ever something comes up that is not expected, any player can either say X or type X in our Zoom chat, and I will just change the scene as we go uh, because safety is a top priority on Tabletop Titties. Last time on Tabletop Titties, Asher, Steve, Borba, and Wilmer had some fun, fun, fun at the Midway, watching the heck yeah -tron that shows various recorded and live scenes from around the Revalia. Before participating in the Duncan Do Not game, which resulted in Asher meeting an aquatic enemy in the dunk tank. 
Steve pressed on to the game that had the most red ticket returns compared to the cost to play, Boat Blaster 9000. The party used all of their swashbuckling abilities and fighting power in a battle with an opposing team of revelers, the same folks who dumped that slushy on Steve. They emerged victorious against the vapid young adults and all received seven red tickets each. Friction emerged when Borba put two and two together about Asher's warlock abilities, and Asher finally came clean about their imposing imposter syndrome and their patron, a sentient tree who is helping them on their healing journey. Their patron tree, however, specifically avoided mentioning Borba at all when telling Asher who to look for. And right now, you all see Asher's staff begin to vibrate and a green glow starts to emanate from it. Uh, a small twig or vine-like thing appears from the staff and grows in the direction of you, Borba. What would you like to do? Uh, what's going on? What's oh, going on? No, it's never done this before. Is it, is it safe? What is, I don't... I Isn't mean, it a living tree? You just talk to it. I have you. I usually like, have to tell it to steal your blood, so it won't steal your blood. I think. Oh, good, good, yep, good. Uh, anyone who wants to can roll insight on the twig. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, ooh, my insight's actually not terrible. 17? That was a four. 14. That was a six. <laughs> oh, I think boy. it's trying to kill me. <laughs> High five the twig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God, these rolls. Okay. <laughs> yes, Borba and Wilmer, terrified of this stick. No idea Jesus what it's Christ. wanting to I do. I take it back. Don't high five the twig. <laughs> uh, Steve, you're sensing um, some openness to this uh, staff that wants to communicate. But it's up to all of you. What would you, you would like to do? Borba, darling, I think you should touch it. So, but what? if it's like... Uh... Well, it's a talking tree. Maybe it wants to talk to you. As but what does it want to talk? Yeah, maybe it can only talk to you by putting its little branches deep <laughs> into your skin and into your brain. That's well, disgusting! Wilmer, yeah. I think that's exaggerating just a little bit. It's probably not going to do. Every time that I've talked to it, it's just been, you know, sitting up against it during a cool spring breeze or something. It's probably just trying to connect as i said i look at this twig and i like <laughs> look at dead in its little branch leaf stick things and i point at it I'm like listen if i'm gonna cooperate you better not put anything in my brain whatever wilmer said i don't want any of that okay we good and i like i, I poke it <laughs> with my <laughs> finger like very like hesitantly like e. I'm just like home. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say that <laughs> you connect with this extraterrestrial twig <laughs> well like uh <laughs> the vine begins to like slowly wrap around your finger yep, yep. Borba like a little ring um and all of a sudden everyone in the party hears a whoom, and this glow from the staff uh extends into a large sphere encapsulating everyone here and you notice that the outside world has frozen you all watch as a vision comes to you of a young orc girl hair not yet in pigtails battling oh with what looks like a slightly older more masculine version of her she makes quick work of him with the wooden sword pinning him in the mud with the sword tip at his throat Whoom! You all see fires and smoke so thick you can taste it as a Korak that you now recognize runs away from the carnage. Whoom. You're inside the main Wild Well trial hallway. Asher, this is all new to you, staring up at Korak's painted portrait. Whoom. You all hear dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, and the roar of a dragon and Korak's voice saying, sweet sister, as carnival music begins to play. Then, deafening silence. 
and the sphere's glow starts to shrink back down into Asher's staff until it fully dissipates and the world around you outside comes back to clarity and people pick up exactly where they left off. I have a question. Was that like a vision in our heads or were we, were we like you third all person, like, saw eight, it? like third part, like it was like, like a 3D VR experience? Um, y Both. It was in your minds, okay. but you were all encapsulated in the same vision in this okay. special sphere. Nobody else saw it. Uh, I'm going to make the uh, quarterstaff disappear again in like the kind of rotting uh, branches as it just disappears. I like brush it off my finger. <laughs> um, where is this tree again? Did you say, Asher? Uh, Where's it, it from? It's um up north, uh, in the institute. It's it's just in the courtyard of the, of my school. I don't Morbid know how it knows here? this. Where are you from? I wasn't from here. I wasn't from this this continent. I came here looking for Korak. strange that it has some sort of connection to you, or at least knows of your past, but also Didn't, most recent past. Yeah. Maybe it just drew something from you. I thought it, you said it wasn't going to draw anything from <laughs> me. Like, 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 like magically. And I looked, at, I'm like, I don't <laughs> feel as if I've gained anything from your blood. So I don't think it stole your blood. Can I insight or arcana or na history or something? Yes. Uh, whatever is higher of uh, nature, arcana, or, uh, yeah, nature or arcana. Or insight, I guess, of the tree. <laughs> Four, oh, <yeah. laughs> 13? Um, with a 13, you get the sense that this is was its sort of decision-making process. It realize that Borba was related to Spaghetti, a.k.a. Korra. Oh, yeah, uh, Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and um, it made the decision with the information it had, which was very lacking of the full story. I think your tree no? might have history with Spaghetti. I think Borba forgets the spaghetti as well. Like, why would why would it have spaghetti? Was why would? Oh. oh, right. Oh. I mean, I knew that as well. Um. That's right. We're not supposed to talk about it because yes. people might be listening. Um, I got it. Yeah, sorry. Asher, oh. were there any orcs at the institute? Uh, a few. At any time? Well, I mean, other than the patients that came through. Um, but yes, there were a few students as well, and eventually doctors, but. None that looked like that man that I just saw. Hmm. I mean, it is a... The tree, from what I've read, and again, much like medicine, the books about the origins of the school are very dense and boring and hard to understand. Uh, the roots branch out across as dimensions, as far as I know. The original... Uh, the original planter was a uh, mist walker, so just dimensions upon dimensions this thing branches, but as far as I know, this is the only variant that I've, I mean, this is the only variant that I've ever encountered. There could just be versions of it itself all over connected by the roots? Yeah, maybe you just fought next to one, or there was one in your your town when you were real growing? talk. That's some Norse mythology shit right there, <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Every story should have Idrisil. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. Um, well, this has been real great reliving my past traumas, but I'm kind of tired. Perhaps we should move on. Are we done playing these games? Do we need to play more games? I'm, I'm not yeah, sure if we're playing more games. I wanted to do the spray one. Yes, the clown That's one. right. <laughs> yes. Sorry to cut you off. I just like wasn't sure <laughs> what was going on. And I don't know. Um, this is great. I love, I love thinking about this stuff. It's super great. Yeah. I might, I'll follow you, but I might play 
um, chaperone, and uh, whilst you're playing, I might hold the bag, so to speak, and take a take a break myself. Uh, yeah, you I did fall to... in and get kind of attacked by that <laughs> thing. That's yes. yeah. Uh, I should meditate on this and attempt to commune with uh, the spirit, the tree, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you shouldn't swear so much about the person that gives you your powers, hey? Never thought about that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you're very, you're very smart, aren't you? It's actually maxed out, so yes. What? Um, oh. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, means... you get max smartness. <laughs> oh, no. I cannot get any smarter. It's almost depressing um, in its own right. <laughs> yeah. But well yes, uh, I will. I will hang back while the rest of you uh, enjoy the games. Hey, can you hold on to the donkey, and then I'm gonna <coughs> if the donkey's still there. You say gonna, that, Wilmer, <laughs> um, and the donkey dissipates as you say it. It has been an hour. Put on the cream. The cream. Put on the cream the quickly. Cream. Quickly, put the cream on. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, and then, oh, I get to pull another thing out of the bag. Yes. Um, <laughs> what do I roll for it's this It's very again? exciting. A D8. D8. All right. A D8. What kind of creature will I find today? <laughs> it is a six. A six. Tell me it's another donkey. Yeah, tell me it's another donkey. <laughs> <laughs> you see a, a purplish blackish navy furred small fuzzy creature uh emerge from the fuzzy ball that you throw and uh two big floppy ears stand up on either side of its head uh and as it turns to you it has a single yellow eye in the center of its forehead it Ooh. is a rabbit an amalgamation i hate this Ooh. i oh, love this i was this. not expecting the one eye i was Whoa. oh boy that's my fine though. Like you know what? Little ears. <laughs> Not one to discriminate. You look great, little bunny. <laughs> it just goes thumbs like... up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> it squawks like a bird. <laughs> it does now. Um, wow. Uh, where do these animals come from? Do you think? I mean, and where do they go? Ma Magic. Hot Nigel. Yeah. Do you want me to pull back the curtain? <laughs> this is a bag of tricks, uh, which is a typical D and D magic item that has been reskinned uh, to only feature creatures from the Revelia. Ooh. Cool. In the, in so canon, do I don't know where they come from. from? Though. <laughs> <laughs> Can I look in the bag? Sure. Yeah. Do I see anything? Um, you see a bunch of multicolored, different size balls. All fuzzy. Oh, okay. Do they ever run out? I guess we'll find out, hey? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Wilmer's going to the... Wilmer and Eddie are going to the... the push, 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 one. Pop goes the clown. Yeah. Uh, what are the re rest of you doing? Scary bunny and I'll, I'll go do Pop goes the clown as well. I guess I'll, it's I'll two go. participants, yeah? All of you can play yeah. together. I feel like we should still relatively be within eyesight of each other until we learn more about this place. Yes, yes I, I don't would, think we I should would like to up. just steal some tickets at some point as well. <laughs> just Hell knowing yeah. God, yes. <laughs> I could use Bobbin to scare some people and distract them. Yeah. yeah. I also was a bad DM and I forgot to remind you all to have real dice. Oh, yeah. Um, so please, Ooh. if you do not have them with you, now is the time. We will edit this out together. Your real dice. I have them. Oh, dice. Might be clinky in the mic because I have them all in like a container and I don't clinkety know which clink. ones I'm going to need yet. I love, I love clickety clacks in the mic though. <laughs> do you though? I um, do. Oh, okay. Or pop goes <laughs> Good old like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we need? Our we will need D20s for Pop Goes the Clown. 
Okay, go on. So as you all start to make your way there, uh, sunken slightly into the holes on the top of a long, tall wooden countertop are five clown heads with their necks disappearing down into the box-like counter. The mouths on the mannequins are stretched wide open by wooden contraptions painted in gaudy colors. And beside each face is a slightly grotesque, half-inflated balloon in the shape of a person's head. A marionette in a bright pink and green sailor suit drums his hands on the bald heads of the mannequins, humming a merry tune as you approach. Are there benches nearby? What's accessibility like at the Revelia? <laughs> <laughs> um, funnily enough, as you mentioned it, there is a lovely scenic bench, uh, pristine white with a trash can next to it. Nice. Um, I'm Just like Disneyland, there's a trash can like every like 10 yeah, steps or something so that no one throws yeah. anything away and they drag sick people down also hang out down. on uh, Eddie if you'd like um <laughs> I'm gonna I mean he could come with me I'm just going to go m meditate uh good luck I will be watching and I'm gonna go sit on the bench uh and Floop's gonna... going with you okay everyone oh, yeah. can give me your bags give me your pets if you have any candy <laughs> you don't want to get lost Floop takes that as an invitation and jumps onto your shoulder <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have like the bunny on the other one. All oh, right, yeah, it's quite heavy. <laughs> Just all the animals. <laughs> I'm very weak as well. Stupid and weak. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I'm gonna sit on the bench. I'm gonna take off the uh, tree limb and put it on my, or put it in my bag of holding, so that I can just relax because it gets sweaty. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the quarter spot. staff, and I'm gonna like try to position it so it's like standing up in front of me. And then I'm just gonna meditate. Do you think I'm gonna be long enough here to do a short rest? Um, if they play another game. All right, <laughs> I will hold off pressing the short rest. As a warlock monk, everything that I have comes back on a short rest. Oh dang, yo. <laughs> and as uh, Asher is walking away, you hear a small childlike voice coming from this marionette. Ale, 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 let's go, let's go, step right up. We're t coming to play a game. Ale, ale, ale. I'm ready. All right, yeah. let's go. Hello. How many Hi. tickets does this cost again? Is this the one that's just one? Uh, one red ticket per, okay. and it's for a minimum of two players. Oh, per okay, Excellent. so cool. Oh God. And he like just like play. reaches out his hand. I'll give. I have like a bunch of tickets. I'll just give a ticket. Thank yeah, I give a you ticket. One as well. ticket. Oh, wait. Can Eddie play? Sure. <laughs> I don't know who Eddie is. <laughs> Eddie is this giant lizard. Um. Okay. And he like <laughs> sets up all the lights on for the <laughs> the nearest <laughs> machines to you. Now, how this game works, <laughs> um, you all are going to, uh, I guess I can explain. So you're, uh, hi, I'm Penny Whistle, by the way, uh, Awakened Marionette, nice to meet ya. So to play Pop Goes the Clown, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll your d20s as fast as you can. This is using real dice, you see? Mm -hmm. So characters must succeed on a DC 13 dexterity check to squirt water directly into the clown's mouth. If you miss, the water doesn't go in, the balloon doesn't come up. The first one to get to four, Successful dexterity checks wins. Make sense? Gotta beat 13? Gotta beat 13, yep. And then is it just straight die or are we adding our, our dexterity? Mix? This is a typical dexterity check. So whatever you <laughs> add, I mean, some people talk about character sheets. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're at, so we have to beat a what? 13. 13 and we have to do four in a row. You might want to do your math now to it figure hits. out what you're trying to beat by subtracting your dex modifier from that 13. Is it a, a, sorry, is it a four in a row or just the first to four? First to four. Okay. Okay. Fucking ready. On your marks. If As wait, soon as you do wait. it, you are going to wave at me. I'm going to count to three and it's on you to roll as fast as you can. <laughs> I have a question. Is Sir Eddie in the crown. Playing? Who's going to roll for Eddie? <laughs> Uh, I can I can roll for Eddie. Yeah. What's Eddie's nice. dex modifier? Um, Eddie's giant lizard? dexterity modifier. I have to look up a giant lizard. Mine's plus I sent four. it to everyone, I didn't I? Part of this. Yeah, I don't Mine's plus six, yo. 
You have to beat um, 13, right? So if I get a 13, that's... That uh, that, sorry, I, that counts. How is your okay. modifier 6? A dex for a giant lizard is plus 1. So okay. Eddie needs a 12 or higher. Hey, we have the same dex mod. <laughs> it's a proficient. <laughs> Does Eddie have d disadvantage since no opposable thumbs? Or are we just going flat? Nope. Yeah, that's kind of what I was He's wondering. got his dex mod that he's got. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> All right, I'm counting to three. It's on you to okay, roll as fast as you down. can. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Alley, nope. alley, alley. Oh, let's yeah. go. Let's that was go. 17, two. So that's 18. One. Three. <laughs> that's a seven. Nope. Fuck. Okay. Four. Done. Three. Fuck. <laughs> Literally, like, <laughs> you said it. I got two of them to work. <laughs> and he's gotten two now. I win. Ones. Steve, your water just shoots true. Going all the way up. Eddie's squirting water oh, like, got it. into Benny Whistle's face. Um, <laughs> uh, and as it reaches the top of your balloon, it bursts into a puff of smoke and Penny Whistle says good job, good job and hands you three red tickets and continues to go back to drumming on this clown's head. Excellent. Oh, this game was fun but the I want to play that one again. Bad. Yeah, it was a great <laughs> Anyone who wants to can make a perception check in this moment. I will do so. That was a 23. Holy crap. 24. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Very perceptive. Oh. <laughs> um, Borba and Steve, you both re come to realization that you were squirting water into real clowns' mouths, trapped. Oh, that's gross. In the table. Oh, like that. that's wait, low. and they they blew up when they when I what? So the Those clown like is the, the part like that you're that, like yeah. shooting in, and then it recharge it charges the water up the spout to the balloon that you were blowing up. Oh, the balloon blew yeah. up. Yes. Okay, I missed that. Sorry. The heads are like, fine. Oh my god! <laughs> you murdered a <laughs> clown. <laughs> Very concerned. That's okay. Are we right. playing again, or are we I, going somewhere else? I kind of want to play again. I really I like that one. Ali, Ali, Ali! We're going yeah. one more. I'll play again, yeah. I don't think Eddie should play again, though, because Eddie, you weren't good. I don't think Eddie's stopped. <laughs> Eddie's probably still squirting. <laughs> uh, Fucking ready. Right. Let's You're do trying it. to beat a 13. Oh. I'm counting to three. And one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, two. Two, two, three, 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 four, four, four. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I got three out of four. Oh, fuck, so close. I got every single roll I did beat the DC. Oh, that was awesome. Ah. <laughs> my life will never be this great. Will, my darling, we have to do it again. Best two out of three. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I'm gonna tap I out. Fine, fine, let's do it you again. You guys can do it. Fuck yeah. Wait, do I get one. my three tickets for that though, Yes, right? you do. Okay. And you've yeah. already, um, you only pay one for the group. So you all, um, Oh. I think, yeah, I I didn't explain that very well. So oh, you I've should still have some. Yeah, okay, so I paid tickets. first for the last round, yeah. so. I, I'll, well, I say I'll pay for the la for the. The second round, round. okay. The second I'll one, yeah. for the third one. There we go. Is nice. that one? This is for all the marbles. You're gonna get Fine. five red tickets for this one. I'll winner. go again, I guess. I wasn't gonna do it, but if <laughs> since it's for one person's paying, okay. We're all like we're all we're fucking go. <laughs> we never get to roll real dice. Count into three and one, yeah. two, three. One, ah. two, three, one. Four, done. One. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> all of those were God. guard awful except for one. Oh, damn it. I only had time to roll my dice three times because my freaking thing kept taking forever to land on a number. I know. Save. I you take those <laughs> tickets, like please. Slowly roll Five up. red like, tickets. Blah, blah, blah. And he's just drinking the water from his own gun now. <laughs> 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 Thank you, darling. Uh, I'll that see you fun. next time. That Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. All right. Thank you for ever having a down day, coming back to this boot would be a good idea. Well, yes, I That's love that. Great. That's a great <laughs> idea. Just gotta not, just gotta ignore the moral ambiguity of the whole situation. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which I feel like is Revelia is in a hole. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Um. Okay, I want to steal some tickets from other people. I have. I want to. Is it, I'll, I'll play a different one if you want to steal. We can always distract them by playing the game. We haven't done Dead mm -hmm. Ringer yet. Indeed. 
Uh, as you approach Dead Ringer, you see five disembodied hands of various sizes. This is still within eye shot of you, Asher. Um, My eyes are closed, but that's good. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> in your aura, <laughs> five disembodied hands of various sizes, shapes, and colors sit in a row on a wooden pedestal, their fingers wriggling slightly. Sitting on the side of the booth is a dwarven woman with a luxurious beard, threaded with ribbons and little sculptures of various foods. She is devouring a large ghost-shaped pastry with um, obvious enjoyment, and she mostly ignores the revelers walking by her stall. Somewhat off to the side is a slightly stained notebook where she scribbles the occasional sentence. Oh, hey there. Is that a thing, eh? <laughs> It is. It's a ghost beignet. <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> well, I got it from the food court, of course. Oh, okay. Okay, Candy's um, Emporium. You got to go Candy's there. They're really Emporium. good. I will I will remember that for later. Thank you. If you ever need some advice on uh, delicious foods from the Revelia, I'm writing a cookbook, you know. Or not a cookbook, <gasps> a guidebook. Oh. Oh. And who are you exactly, darling? Oh, I'm Swolston. You know, the, uh, the, the the showstopper here for Dead Ringer. All right. Well, how do we play? How do you play? I better read the rules here. Hold on one second. <laughs> right, I love her. I hope this is in game. Yeah. <laughs> She's just too focused on this uh, uh, food guide of the Revelia. Yeah. Yeah, that's really my number one priority is the food guide. I mean, everything here is so delicious. But so uh, <laughs> don't you know, up to five participants can play at any one time. It costs one red ticket each. And your reward is four red tickets for winning. You, each participant is given ten small rings. Here you go. And she plops them in front of each of you. Are you all playing? Uh, is this another one? It's it's one ticket to play, but it, it's for all of us or no, one, one red ticket, ticket each each, each, each this time. time. You're guaranteed you to get you one back as a party. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So let's do it. Theoretically, if we can yeah. all win, this might be so. like one of those rigged games where like you throw the ring and then it, you're not actually playing against each other. You're just trying to get a land, and then everyone's kind of the, the yeah. ring's too small to actually fit the yeah. neck of the bottle. Don't you know? Nice. You got it right here. It's not a bottle though. It's some dead fingers. So what, what you're gonna oh, do good. is uh, <laughs> you're gonna try and roll your d20, and you're gonna roll it ten times doing dexterity checks. Uh, when yeah. you get a twelve, you're gonna land on a ring finger. That's so great, don't you know? Uh, so you need to get. You only roll ten, and whoever gets to the top there. That means you're the winner. Okay. So Does that make sense? You're not Russian. Times. You just roll 10, oh, and you're trying okay. to beat a DC 12 dexterity check, eh? Wait, DC 12, or we have to roll 12? You're rolling 10 times. The DC is 12. Okay. Okay. And, and whoever gets the most wins? That's right there. You got it. You got a big Next. brain there, little lady. <laughs> These it's are maxed not out. Um, um, geared towards people like Borba. Is there a strength, like one of those strength things where you like hit the thing and then it goes ting? Listen, oh, you know yeah, what? We could just the, play this. If you do the <laughs> Dunkin' Donut, they're really good because you can just chuck a, a, a ball really heavy at a target. You make people fall into water. It's so good there. We did do that one, but yeah, it's, uh, really, it's really good. Um, you get three red uh, tickets for that, yeah. Yeah. All Let's right. play! <laughs> yes. All right, Dead Ringer, here you go. Okay. Get started in three, two, one. DC 12, 10 rolls. One. Pop. Pop. These are bad ones. It's hard to keep track of while you're rolling at the same time. Okay, roll number five. This is good for the podcast. This is cool. <laughs> 12? Oh, this is the DC? DC 12. Nine. DC 12. So I need to roll nine or higher. Okay, so that's not it. I got eight. I got four. <laughs> what number was I at? Was I at six or seven rolls? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do three more. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got... Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. That's seven. Those are seven fingers. You're holding, you're holding seven up. fingers up. <laughs> go with six. Let's say I rolled six. <laughs> Which I rolled eight. Steve. I need to go again. Yeah. Uh, I should not have been. I feel like there should have been. A, all right, everyone roll one. And then we like. Yeah. Could, like keep track. Yeah. So we're just like on losing my own. <laughs> I can't keep track of two numbers that are constantly changing. 
<laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, Larry. Here you go. And she hands you four red tickets, Steve. Thank you. Are you done now? Because I'd really like to go back to Munchin on my little ghost bingy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think well, well, this one it was not as fun as the other one. <laughs> not to be No offense. No, it's fine. I, don't, I don't really care about this game here. I just want to okay. sell my uh, my cook uh, what, what's guy. What's your name again? I need to write it down. Oh, Swolston, <laughs> don't you know? Swolston. I love it. I love uh, that. She, like, picks a bit of food out of her beard and, like, pops it into her mouth. All right, I'll see you later, Dead there, Ringer e. food lady. Dead okay. ringer food lady Swolston. Okay. Um, <laughs> excellent. I'm a, okay. I'm a steal shit now, please. <laughs> All right. There are quite a few. It's very busy here. Um, so I imagine you can have your pick of the taken. What kind of person are you looking to find? Um, those bitches. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I knew it. Good. Well, they did just play with you not too, too long ago. So there's a chance that you might still find them. Go ahead and roll investigation. Uh, 14. With a 14. I'll let you roll with advantage because they were wearing glittery outfits. <laughs> I mean, it's a mm -hmm. carnival, but they were. you've seen them enough times. Dirty 20. Wow. Fuck yeah. Yes, with a dirty 20, you see Fuck yeah, bud. Um, the sm <laughs> off in the distance, leaving the um, midway area, you see the pack of the girls, the young I'm ladies. I'm going to assume that they're scared of spiders, like any respectable <laughs> young lady is. Um, and I'm going to whisper to Bob and go and crawl up that one. And I'm going to point to the, the one that dumped the slushy. Go crawl up her leg for me, won't you? And in the midst of, hopefully, madness, I'm just going to... All of everything I, I can. I support this one, 100%. <laughs> I love... How quick is Bobbin? Bobbin is... He's... Yeah, uh, they've got a 20 feet speed. Cool, yeah. Or um, they can fly 30 feet, but I didn't make what? a homunculus servant that has wings. wings so yeah. a flying spider would be absolutely horrific. <laughs> it's, like a fly, it's like a flying squirrel. It just like spreads just like out. Jewel. It's <laughs> like a flying squirrel spider yeah. with yeah. pins in it. Isn't yeah. It so like, <laughs> doesn't the end of babe like fast. end with the babies flying, all the baby spiders flying into the wind? <laughs> it's horrifying, and I hated it as a child. Robin <laughs> skitters along the floor. Um, those of you with a uh, passive perception of a 15 or higher can watch Bobbin as they go. Um, well, well, and eventually <laughs> skitters up the leg of one unsuspecting jawbreaker. And it's not long before you hear... <laughs> And chaos erupts. <laughs> Steve, Excellent. you may roll with advantage on your next um, sleight of hand check. Dun, dun, dun. I got 20. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All of them. Which means it's Karma. a Ooh. I get every right. single token with and bobbin back all in one piece. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Uh, the moment your hand slides into the first of these ladies' pockets, uh, bobbin relatches onto your wrist as a typical seamstress's push pin cushion, um, and you with a nat 20 are able to reach into every pocket of this group of five jawbreakers uh, as they are busy <laughs> freaking out over the spider and also sort of preoccupied with taking care of their own injuries after that battle that you went through. Uh, which means, mm, can you please roll me um, three D10, five D10, there are five of them. Roll, 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 roll. 33. You have 33 red tickets. Wow. Fuck yeah, bud. Fuck yeah. Hold up. Now I got to have to do math for how many I totally have. Okay, cool. <laughs> and the number's 51 if you care. After wow. you are able, uh, you have completed your short rest. Um, as you all start to, um, you're near the exit of the midway if you would like to move on from this area. Are we getting yeah, hungry at all? I don't want to eat anything here. It's got bugs in it. 
It's been a significant time since you have eaten, but you are not yet starving if you would like to delay the inevitable. But you are going to be walking by, uh, as every prize, er or as every game area does, you will be walking through the prize area before yes. you can head back into the center of the carnival. So before you is a giant red balloon. It's curved. I all of a sudden got like that song, 99 Red Balloons, <laughs> in my head. <laughs> anyway. uh, it's curved structure formed of a stretchy material. The balloon's knot forms a small entry tunnel, which opens into the one-room shop. Inside, the red walls cast a faint red glow over everything here. The shop is a bit of a mess. Dozens of shelves are set up in a zigzag formation, set at strange angles on the curved walls and precariously laden with paper masks, stuffed animals, and more. Behind a tall, scruffy counter covered in graffiti and with a pane of glass on the top so smudged with fingerprints as to be practically opaque is a tall figure in a lavish, grubby cloak. The figure has a candy cane in one hand and a knife in the other, a red, tall hat on their head. As they turn to face you, a little grubby hand pokes out from the middle of the cloak to grab some chocolate from the top of the counter, and the chocolate disappears between the folds of the cloak. <gasps> oh, um, hello, and welcome to the... Ah, oh, Goop Noggins, we had agreed to open with bonjour, not hello. No, you decided that, Pop. I liked Sup Peeps as the opener. Shh, anyway, welcome to the souvenir shop. Do not, I repeat, do not purchase a stuffed animal. Don't you dare. Ow, you're stepping on my face again. This is all um, coming. Three different yeah. voices from this figure in okay. front of you. But can we have some chocolate? It just looks like it's like one of those little free. It, it feels like it should have been one of those like little free dishes that you, that you have for customers. I don't think anything's free here. <laughs> they pick up the tray and just <laughs> drag it back and like shove it under the counter. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna come in walking after mm -hmm. them like. Uh, with having reattached my leg and like bringing everyone's pets back to them. <laughs> oh, uh, here you go. Uh, floof. Uh, this bunny, which I think is about to disappear soon. Poof! Buddy is gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 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 I pet, I pet put the cream I can, on. I pet yeah. Floof and I'm like, thank you for not trying to eat the bunny. I appreciate it. That would have been very bad. And I'm proud of you. Wow. <laughs> Slightly uh, grumpy meow. Uh, yeah. Floof, Floof did kitty biscuits on uh, my thigh while I was meditating, oh. which was adorable. Okay. What well. was that sound? Uh, it's yeah, part of know. the sirenscape. I don't know. Oh, oh it's, I got a crow. In, I got a, <laughs> Is there uh, a monkey? A crow? Okay. I got a parrot, I think. Because <laughs> I'm using locks, and I know that uh, oh, he's got yeah, parrots, yeah, so yeah. whatever. Yeah, that makes oh. sense. Sorry, my bad. I shouldn't have called it out. <laughs> um, so I got, on. Uh, well, okay, so I apply cream on my nose, mm -hmm. and I reach into the bag, and I pull out an eight. With an eight? Uh, you launch this ball, uh, and a striped horse-like creature oh comes uh, into the room. It's quite large, but luckily much calmer than the donkey. And it just goes... <laughs> no, it is a zebra, like an amalgamation. Um, so yeah, what's weird like with it, then, if it's an amalgamation? <laughs> Nothing seems odd about me? it. <laughs> So far, it seems to be making horse noises. Maybe it's a horse zebra. That'd be quite confusing. Yeah, it just looks like the same. It just seems larger than the, the. Is it larger than than a normal zebra would be? It, it looks larger. It's a medium-ish sized creature. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, shopkeep. Hmm? Hello. Was, what was your name again? We are Magnanimo! And then it's like a trio of voices speaking to you. Magnanimo. Why do you have a knife? <laughs> well, to cut our chocolate. Shh, okay. don't tell them that. I mean, we already saw the chocolate. No, you didn't. Okay, Okay. sure, we didn't. Uh, Buy oh. something. <laughs> I have a total of 15 red tickets. What am I able to purchase with that? I also have that same amount. Oh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Holy Rolly Rude. All right. 
right. Um, and you all have received uh, out of game what is in this souvenir shop. But for those of you listening, we have large stuffed animalgamations that are exactly like the animal creatures that Wilmer has been drawing from his bag. We also have some paper masks that look like Hecna's face. Those are two red tickets each. The uh, stuffed animals are a hundred red tickets each. The collectible souvenir memorabilia, uh, they walk over to a large display case and say, this is the best way to commemorate your visit to the Revelia here. And they hand you a um, politician's firing uh, certificate in a <laughs> in a frame, a wooden frame. And there are many other super odd things like birth of a villager, a village's thousandth baby, best boyfriend, little trophy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> weird fucking shit like that. Uh, <laughs> Love it. You also have a, a wide array of t-shirts that are four red tickets each that say, I went to the Revelia and all I got was poisoned. Uh, grow your own schnozzling kit. Yeah, fuck that. And Wilmer, you see a creature that is very similar to your own little nose, which you are starting to grow a little fond of. Uh, the Grow Your Own Schnozzling Kit is eight red tickets. And finally, we have small stuffed toys of Myrmidon and Snout, the two pets of Hecna. These are three red tickets, and each of them play a different fun fact about the pet. Oh, I would like to buy one of each of those. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said I... they were Hecna's pets? Yes. Yes, Out of the one, center one of, um, um, I was going to say Myrmidon. That's not their name. <laughs> Magnanimo? Magnanimo, yes. Magnanimo. Uh, Magnanimo reaches a small hand out from the center of their uh, jacket. And one of each. Okay, that's um, eight red tickets. Three per toy. Excuse me, what does this... Wait, eight tickets, that's, three that's per an... toy? That's math. That, that math is incorrect. What? It would be six. Oh, three sorry, ten three, red six. tickets, three per toy. I give, I give them six. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and they put it uh, in, in the <laughs> jacket, and uh, you're able to choose which of there's a large display case, um, which two you would like to pick. There are many copies of Myrmidon and of Snout, but they all have a different fun fact, so it's up to you which one you choose. Shit. Um. Which of these say their weakness? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I like insight or something to see if I can tell No, this is, would... this is Fine. random. If you want to make it just a dice roll, you can roll a yeah, one, two, three, just... four, five, a d6. And roll it twice. Two, yeah, two d6, okay. I got a one and a four. All right. You hear Myrmidon's tongue is foe, not friend on the one know. that looks like the insect that you saw in the parade. And a four gets you, snout makes you see fun things. Hee <laughs> hee. Interesting. Um, Thanks for the tickets. Make now. Uh, oh, go on. I'm so, so uh, and I'm going to um, stab each one of them with my dagger and rip them a little bit. <laughs> The toys or the magnanimo? Toy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the toys. Yes, okay. And I'm going to say, excuse me, the ones that you gave me are defective. Wow. Can I exchange them? They point to a sign, no exchanges, no refunds. If you'd like to complain, go to nowhere. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Revelia policy. Um, can I see any kind of bachelorette party memorabilia like souvenir <laughs> stuff in the store oh of course and they go back to that like wide display case and bookshelf of all those weird knickknacks and they pull yeah. out like bride to be sash um, and different bridesmaid sashes that all have names like Megan and Christine <laughs> sorry to anyone listening whose name is Megan or Christine classic um, bride I names I, I, I cast mending on both my, both my stuffies by the way Whoosh. They are completely fine. Thanks. <laughs> Would you like to purchase these uh, memorabilia items, Wilmer? 
desperately. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are we doing like a group thing? Cause um, we're gonna need um, one, two, three, four, four of the bridesmaids and then one of the bride. Here you go, and they like grab them all. Wait, who's the fourth one? No, fourth bridesmaid Eddie. for. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. One. <laughs> uh, so four items at three red tickets. That means um, fifteen red tickets, please. Seems about right. Um. Yes. There was four each. Yeah. <laughs> Just give yeah. a random number of tickets, yeah, and that's I don't sure. think they'll actually. Steve. Yeah. Steve. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> um. And then I had. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many tickets do I have? <laughs> I hand them all seven of my tickets. Thank you. They grab them. Sweet. Um, excuse me, and I like to say this loudly. And I, I look I, over wait. to Steve and I go, you can do whatever, do whatever you need to do. Hey, um, what are these masks over here? I'm really interested in those masks. Can you really like describe them in detail to me? Ash is um, like holding one of the masks waiting to inquire about what the yeah. is. <laughs> this one. Yeah, this this mask I think is pretty cool. They begin to <laughs> describe in detail about the mask. What would you like to do, Steve, in this opportunity? <laughs> I'm stealing more stuffed animals of Murdon and Snow. <laughs> All right, um, go ahead and roll sleight of hand with advantage. I got you. <laughs> How is a 25? Holy crap. Yeah. Um, you're able to grab the remaining um, stuffed animals <laughs> off I of love the it. wall. I love All of them? That's not suspicious. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they continue cool. to describe these Hecna masks um, and how if you put one on, the mask changes your voice to sound like Hecna, but it only works one time, so you gotta be careful when you wanna use it. It gives Ooh. you some great advantages, though. Wink. Question, um, do I, we, I decide when it works? Yep. All right, because uh, my friend here has taken my physician's mask, and I haven't. You can, you can have it back. No, it's all right. I'll, here. Ha I'll have. Wait, no, yeah, I, I like, I like <laughs> put it, uh, put it on their face while I put on the uh, bride sash as well. Um, <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I, I would like to pull Asher aside and say, ah. you know, I can. I've been trying this thing where I create a cloak that can change its appearance. So if you got the mask that changes your voice, I can give you a cloak that changes your clothes and you can just do the rest. <gasps> that my, might come in handy. My clothes, no, I cut like little bit of like shiny tears appear in Asher's eyes <laughs> as they're like, the clothes have always been the thing that I can't do. <laughs> and the, I mean, vo it's just and a, the it's, voice it's, as well. It's just a cloak. <laughs> It's not the whole outfit, but it might help if we ever need to impersonate you know who. <clears throat> I would like to buy one of these masks. Just one? Okay. Two I'll red buy tickets. another. I'll buy another just in Get case. A couple. Two yeah. plus two. That's four. Yep, that's I, four. I would like to buy ten, please. Wow. <laughs> wow, big spender over here, am I right? And I pass what? over five tickets. I, I put in... <laughs> I put in, uh, I just, I'm honest. I'm just going to put you in. I'm like, well, there you go. There's two. Same. We're a very <laughs> honest group of spenders in this here establishment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Raleigh Rune for Revalia. Anything else? You kind of out of everything here. I'm going to open the bag of holding. No, so they the didn't. The t-shirts, the t-shirts. Got to sell the t-shirt. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. The t-shirts. What yeah. were you saying, Asher? I interrupted uh, you. Just to, for Steve to put all the masks in the bag of holding. Oh, mm. excellent. Then I won't keep track of them. So I, you, I took 10, though. So, so there's 10, 10 11, 12, 13 total if you each bought one and Steve bought 10. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is Borba also giving? Uh, yeah, I'll put it in there. All yeah. right. Got to add, cu add custom items in D&D &D Beyond. Don't what, how, many, how many stuffies do I have now? Make sure you add uh, You have, I think the total is five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Cool, thank you. Cool. Uh, does anyone want a shirt? I mean, we all have these sick uh, like banners now, so I don't know if we need them. Uh, I think I'm all right. They slowly get you. We did all get poisoned. 
Yeah, but I don't really want to remember that. It's not my fondest memory of this place. You know? I mean, the shirt doesn't last forever. What? Pardon? What? What? <laughs> what? Will they just be naked? Sorry? Yeah, well, it's up to what? you what you put on under the shirt. But it's got cool stuff. We don't tell people what it does, though, because that makes it less fun. Wait, you mean there's other stuff that it does? Yeah, I it's a shirt, and you got to the Revelia, and all you got was poison, but then you got the shirt. I wonder what'll happen next. I... Okay, give me a shirt. I no, want a shirt. I message. I want a shirt. shirt. Can we get a shirt? Guys, I'm already poisoned. Nothing else bad can happen. Can I mess. Can I just get a what shirt? What does the shirt shirt? <laughs> what does oh my God, the I can't shirt do? Oh my God. This is too magnanimo. Does. Yes. Well, that takes out all the fun. They answer out loud. The shirt sucks out all your fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, telling you what it does sucks oh, out the right, fun. Right, right. Is it um, bad? Could you just give us like a hint? Is it I a good thing to us? Will it hurt us? Rock. Can I? Um, Emily thinks that it means you get poisoned when the shirt fades away. <laughs> so like, can I like inside or something that is yeah. in my height? I can have that. Um, if you, any of you are able to cast the identify spell, uh, you would be able to know what the shirt does. Uh, uh, Borba doing magic. <laughs> <laughs> is that Borba doing magic or Rachel doing magic? I'll give you a hard um, DC survival you. to tell what the shirt does. A DC 22. I just want a shirt. Oh, I literally can't roll 22. I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you roll in that 20. It's true. No, I rolled a 10. Okay. <laughs> Can I just borrow a couple things? Because they offered <laughs> my shiny rocks and they didn't seem interested. Uh, I'm going to buy... Wilmer a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you said that was three red tickets, right? That's right. One, two, three. But you know, no, wait, four. Yeah. Four red tickets. But you've been so nice. I'll give it to you for two. Sorry, right. I had one ticket and I'm like, oh, my mistake. What? What? I had <laughs> one ticket and I say, my mistake, my math is wrong. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh it's okay. And they let you take the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're closing now. Get out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Goodbye. How do they make any money? They don't do math. I don't, honestly don't know uh, if we're up or down with that. Are we in yeah, the red? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Um, guys, everyone put on your fun bridesmaid sashes. I hand them out. <laughs> <laughs> then I like take my mom okay. and put on my t-shirt and put on the sash over top. Um, <laughs> What do my other <laughs> toys tell me? Oh, yes. Okay. You push all of their buttons. So you hear. I mean, well, after we walk away a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and you hear no one's actually crying in the ball pit. Myrmidon's eggs are Pop's favorite treat. No, they're not. I like. Yes, they are. You said snout grew from Hecna's nose. Hold up. Back. What? Snout <laughs> grew from Hecna's nose. What was the, the middle one? I'm going to paste it in chat. Yeah. But you heard. <laughs> Thank you. All of them were, watch out for Snout's webs or you'll be sorry. Snout makes you see fun things. Oh, shit. I scrolled. Whoops. Hold on one second. There we go. Snout grew from Hecna's nose. Myrmidon's eggs are Pop's favorite treat. No, they're not. I like, yes, they are. You said so. No one's actually crying in the ball pit. And Myrmidon's tongue is foe, not friend. Mm. Asher does like a mile long stare and they're like what if we hear someone crying in the ball pit no one is crying that, <laughs> but can we trust it that's terrifying just the concept of hearing crying but nobody's actually in there crying yeah it's pretty messed up well as what? you are walking Steve, you notice um, a table. You're in an area that you have been through before now. And you, Steve, you notice a table that wasn't there before. On top of the table are wares made of wood, small puzzles, and prototypes of various magical items. A sign attached to the front of the table reads, New! No refunds or returns accepted. And sitting on the table is a small, awakened marionette dressed in a prim, starched sailor outfit. Do you approach the table? 
I think. I mean, like, walk by it close by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would sneakily happen. approach the table from afar, and you see a slightly hunched figure turns, their hood slipping back from their head, and they stand tall. A cloak hangs from their broad, metallic shoulders, and the figure is barrel-chested with wide-set thighs, and their heavy metal feet seem sunk firmly into the ground. Their face is comprised of rotating masks, some made from wood, others metal, one from candy wrappers, and it goes on. Each one displays a striking expression. The toy maker rotates between the faces quickly until they settle on a copper fashioned with a grin that seems appropriate for the Revelia. You can see small cogs and gears are etched inside, and they duck their head in a bow as their forearms rearrange the items on the table before they sign, and a small marionette begins to interpret. Welcome to the Revelia. I am the toy maker, and this is my assistant and interpreter, Stefano. Please peruse at your leisure. Raleigh Roo. Raleigh Roon for Revelia. You're already picking up gobbledygook. That's impressive. What? <laughs> oh. Raleigh Roon what? means welcome. That's gobbledygook, the language of the Revelia. Do you have a What's the, a what's book? the sign for Raleigh Roo for the Revelia? Unfortunately, we don't actually teach any of the sign for our friend the toy maker here. They are very secretive. Seems exclusive. I'm <laughs> the only one that can interpret for you, but don't worry, I'm always with them. What do you do? What if something happens to you? Well, if something happens to me, then the, then the toy maker will just make a new one. It happens all the time. It's very dangerous in the Revelia. <laughs> but it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you're getting it. <laughs> and when you say that in that tone, the toy maker looks at you, Asher. And if you could read uh, its masked visage, it would seem very inquisitive. I mean, you, you seem to be kind of like some sort of warforged changeling, and I'm very into that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the toy maker begins to sign, uh, and Stefano says, "You made them laugh. That's good. They hey. think you're funny." <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the toy maker begins to sign once more, and Stefano continues, "Uh." I, the toy maker, make all of these magic items you see before you. I work sometimes with the Chandler of Flesh, but it's not my favorite pastime, if you know what I mean. But um, so my magic items, they change bit by the day and you can pick them up whenever you come by. Um, look here. And then they gesture to the table and you see a brass stage light candle, a top hat with a rainbow ribbon and a totally ordinary banana, as well as a bag of animal shaped balloons. And Stefano continues, they each cost a hundred red tickets. Ooh. So they're pretty pricey, oh. but don't worry, they're worth it. Oh, but I don't have a hundred tickets. That's oh oh. What is I that? Why is there a banana? Best. Why what are what is why do you just have a banana though? It's well, it's just not a just a banana. It's pretty cool what it is, but you gotta buy it to figure it out. Oh, you said oh. they change every day. That's right. So we have to get a hundred. If we want any of these items, we need to get a hundred tickets today. I mean, if they. And then Stefano stops and looks um, at the toy maker, and the toy maker continues to sign. I'll be able to leave them out for you if there's one that you really, really like. Unless someone buys it before you. I have a follow-up question. Here in the Revelia, what the fuck's a day? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you haven't been explained the moon phases yet. <laughs> I mean, ah, you haven't been explained the moon phases yet. Would you like no. me to explain them to you? Please. Yes, please. Yeah. And um, the toy maker continues to sign. Let me just get to that page. Um, okay. There are four different phases of the moon here in the Revelia. Look up, and you all see a full moon. This is the normal full moon, the default. The sky is dark and a large white moon hangs heavy in the sky. The Revelia is naturally filled with dim light, though areas with electricity and firelight, like right here, uh, are brightly lit. Next, we have the waxing or waning moon. This is when you have to be careful because 
and they whisper, Hecna's whims here are changing and capricious. One moment he can be full of laughter and joy, and the other full of bitterness and particular cruelty. So interactions with Hecna during this time are dangerous and potentially explosive, but his favor can be gained easily under the right conditions. Hmm. Uh, that's the waxing or waning moon. Dusk, when Hecna snatches a facsimile of sleep, the Revelia slips into a twilight-like dusk. There is no moon in sight at this time. And they whisper even more, this might be when you'd like to do some fun activities. <laughs> hmm. And last is the blood moon. The blood moon yeah. is not one that you want to see. It's not one that I talk of openly. But if you have a blood moon, you better run. Oh. To run? Okay. What, to, in yeah. which direction? Anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere but here. You but good luck run. escaping. Fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, any of us have a hundred tickets? No. I have. <laughs> I have forty. At this I have point. That's. Uh, I think I probably have the same thing at this point. Where did I put my tickets? There they are. I have thirteen tickets. I was. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna kind of. Th uh, thank you very much, uh, doll maker. Um, I toy was maker. Toy Stefano maker. Stefano signs. Sorry. Or the toy maker signs. I'm gonna uh, turn around with the group and be like, I was thinking the, uh, I was doing a little bit of math during my meditation. Uh, yeah. The dunk tank doesn't require tickets to sit. If Borba, who seems to be the beefiest of us, were to sit on the dunk tank for free, get dunked over and over to earning t tickets three at a time, this is where the math got hard. Yeah. I could heal Borba every time that she needs it, and we can basically just churn out. It would probably be very exhausting to do, but we could churn out tickets. I mean, yeah, or like we could just do it and then just go take a nice sleep and heal up. Yeah. Yes. Do Borba and Asher want to do that, and then Wilmer and I can go um, steal. That also <laughs> seems lucrative. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you're all discussing, uh, out of the corner of your eye, you see the toy maker kind of waving at you yeah. like they'd like to continue conversing. Oh, yes, hello, yes. Hey. Um, and Stefano begins to interpret once more, and they say, I've seen so many like you, desperate, hopeful, full of ideas for getting all the tickets, but you're never going to be able to leave this place. I haven't seen a single one of these revelers succeed, so you should really just forget it. Uh, these three left four yeah technically but these three... we've been here before yeah and we left your theory is what your theory yeah. is flawed the yeah, toy maker cool. pauses <laughs> and then they continue to quickly sign <laughs> in that case i have a task for you here and they um take out a small silver coin i will pay you well if you deliver this token to pinky the clown you can't miss her. She rides a unicycle and has a bright pink tongue that matches her bright pink hair. 25 red tickets if you put this in her hand. The moment you do, visit Locke and tell him you want to see me. Okay. All right. 25 red tickets. I think we can Freddy, do that. And Freddy also, met. out of game, we also... Locke owes us like 25 red tickets or something like yes. that as yeah. well. Locke yeah, does owe you 25 package. tickets. Oh, yeah, that's right. We haven't gone back to see him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Man, we need to go see Locke anyway. Before, right? Yes, you've met Pinky at the parade. Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. They so, were the one on the unicycle. They were the one that we gave us Nally. Map Nally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we want to just go and see if we can find them, or we could pull up maybe map, the map will know because they seem tight. This is true. This is true. We just got to be careful what we say around the map. Yes, yeah. remember this place is That's great, fine. and we love Hecna. We love Hecna. Um, thank Toy you Maker so much. Toymaker continues to sign. You're very, you're very welcome, and you do seem to know your way around the Revelia already. Interesting. Perhaps we'll be good friends. I'm going to change my image into the closest that I can appear to the doll make or the toy maker, which is a flesh oh. version of the toy maker. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> and I'm going to do a uh, common sign language for thank you <laughs> and kind of smile with the like brass smiley face that they started with. They respond in kind with their own sign of thank you. All right. Uh, and then they wave you off to be on your way. Uh, 
change back. And I'm like, that was horrifying. I hated that. That was oh, really yeah, messed yeah, up. Um, I message directly to the toy maker. I cast message and I say, thank you for your help. Uh, you get, oh, you work? won't get a response because they can't, they don't speak. That's okay. I don't know if they, they, they heard me, but <coughs> yeah. worth a try. Yeah. Oh. Um, and you all now, oh, you're, um, what is it? A rabbit? Your rabbit's gone. No, oh, cream. Oh, ah. It was a zebra. It was oh, a zebra. zebra right. that time. Zebra, come on. <laughs> I, I get rub my nose and I roll a D8. Um. Uh, does someone want to uh, do? If I figure out the map stuff while I'm figuring out the. Are no we still stuff? doing the dunk tank thing, or are we just getting the tickets from Locke I think now? We're gonna get about fifty tickets from Locke. It, we are like twenty five from Locke. Is it was it twenty five from Locke? Yeah, plus twenty five yeah. once you deliver this coin. Yeah, we're about to get fifty tickets, so I think we can. Just I mean, there's nothing do saying that. that. I'm not sure the mechanics of this place yet. Like, if we do split up. I'm worried that we might not be able to find each other again, but it might be fortuitous to be able to. Well, that's, I mean, it's better that we split up in like twos then and not just like by ourselves. Yeah. If you would like to, before we cut to break, we can fast forward through some ticket grinding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. In teams of two, we can have the thieves and the game masters. Um, cool. so, um, let's do a luck roll first for the thieves. Um, so Emily or Wilmer, are you done figuring out your stuff? Oh yeah. I got an eight, which I, I can't remember what animal was. <laughs> That's, I've been just making it up every time you roll. Cause it's been a different number. Now Ooh. it's the same. Oh, Dang it. Now it's the same. I think it's it was a bunny. bunny. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to ring? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, keep track. track of that. Um, but uh, now that you've rolled, uh, also roll a d20. If you get at above 10, that's going to be some good luck for this stealing. Do, oh, I, have, like, adva do I have advantage an for... Uh, an 18? Spider? Yes. So now yeah. you have advantage, uh, Steve, on how you'd like to steal. And how many hours are you spending thieving? It is getting late, I say in quotations. Uh, you have not eaten for quite some time, so I don't think you have much time before you'd like to meet up again. Um, I'll say that the max you can spend is two hours. Oh Six <laughs> wow. Okay. I rolled a 19 and then a nat 20. Wow. Oh, boy. All right. You can roll. Um, fuck it. 20 d10s. Jesus. 20 d10s. Jesus. As Three, you spend four. two hours thieving. This is going to. Okay. My screen is about to go absolutely. <laughs> 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 I pulled up. I want to film it. Lag. Holy shit. Yeah. This is like when you want to film it. <laughs> it's going to be like, what the fuck? Wild. I'm roll a d8 while she oh, does no. this to figure out what my next animal is. Here's a fun thing for. The one. Um, Ah, there's so many guys. That's the creepy crawly. Creepy crawly. Did you know you can buy 147. the- 147. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that's what you get. Did you know you can buy the keys for ticket boxes on eBay or Amazon, I guess, and then just go to a carnival and open up the ticket box and grab them out of the machine? Wow. I haven't done it, but I've- Hot tip. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> for thievery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot tip, you can also buy the uh, keys to get into laundry machines yeah. and rental buildings, and then oh. um, not have to pay uh, your landlord for doing laundry. Wow. Ooh, fuck yeah. Good. All right, and Borba and um, Asher, you would like mm -hmm. to do the Duncan Do Not? Yeah. Yes. So I, you th said that we could use either dex or strength to throw the ball, right? Yes. Which is good because I think I'm the most dexterous and Borba's the, more, the most strengthful, so we can just take yeah. turns. Yeah, this is true. All right, um, and you can get, so it's six tickets each that you get. So go ahead and roll. You're spending two hours here. Go ahead and roll. Five D tens each, or five D sixes each. Yeah, sorry, okay. six, six tickets. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-one. 
21 red tickets. Yeah. 12. <laughs> Oof. These are not very good rolls. I mean, that, uh, means no. that, that means Borba did better than I am at throwing the ball. <laughs> um, those are the red tickets you have. Um, and we'll just say for simplicity's sake that you all um, managed to make your way to the hostile hostel, which is where we are going to take a break. Yay. Yay. Woo. We come back with like suckers all over our faces. We did a good time. <laughs> we had a great time. Bye. You did excellent. Bye. Bye. Rocket your accessories to new heights with nerdy and gay Vancouver based Rocket Man props. Their enamel and laser cut wooden pins and waterproof coasters come in all your favorite franchises. Their enamel potion pins will make sure that you always have that health potion on you when you need it. And you're gonna need it. Worry not though, any order over $35 ships free to Canada and the US. Plus, if you use the promo code TITTIES with double D's, you can get 20% off their store at rocketmanprops.com. That's rocketmanprops.com to save the day. a sweeter day in a traditional way with Wabanaki maple syrup. Long before sugar came with the fur trade, the indigenous peoples of the First Nations harvested the savory sap from the maple trees of Canada. The tales of this savory sap with a sweet and woody flavor traveled the world and so came the name maple syrup. The tradition was passed from generation to generation and as the maple moon rose each spring, the harvest of nature's rich tree sap began. Today, Wabanaki Maple Syrup has created a twist on a traditional culture with their signature line of barrel-aged maple syrup products of bourbon, whiskey, and toasted oak. Proudly 100% indigenous female-owned and located on Nugukuk, Tobik First Nation, Wabanaki Maple is proud to introduce you to this tradition that's shared by many peoples of the Wabanaki Confederacy. Discover a piece of history and taste our land's cultural fabric in every bottle at wabanaki.com. That's W-A-B-A-N-A-K-I maple.com. Hey everybody, it's Char, the DM of Tabletop Titties, and I love Rain City Games, downtown Vancouver's friendly local game store. In addition to their board games and magic and jigsaw puzzles, Rain City Games has all kinds of goodies for tabletop RPGs, dice, dice bags, miniatures, RPG titles, and so much more. I have, I think, 12 different deck boxes from them, all different colors. They host regular online games where all are welcome, including total beginners. You can find it all online at www.raincity.game. Freshly full of red tickets. Whoever of the two teams had Mapnally is the first to arrive to the hostile hostel. The two story inn is made of mismatched wood, hastily constructed to form a narrow building that leans slightly to the right. Embedded on the building's facade, facade are windows of various shapes and sizes. The hot pink door is covered in half eaten candy and gum, a record of thousands upon thousands of revelers sticking their gum to the peeling wood. To the left of the door is a flickering neon sign, illuminating only the me in the word welcome. To the right of the building is a wooden sign reading hostile in large red letters. There's a line through the wood and hostile has been hastily scrawn beneath it. Hmm. Uh, And the remainder of you all meet up so you are all together once more as you head inside. Most of you know this place already uh, but this is all new to you Asher as you step into a dim lobby lit by lanterns turned to their lowest setting. The purple velvet carpeted floor is covered in smashed candy and remnants of costumes left behind by former residents. And behind a wooden counter is a marionette with a white ceramic face and short dark hair that curls under her chin. You see a flower of recognition in her eyes as she addresses you. Ah, uh, hello, you two, you you three. There used to be four of you, no? This one's new. Yes. Yes. Um, they it's are me, new. Ramona. I would, I would change Where's... to appear like the other person, but I've never seen them before. <laughs> Say we're a purple puff ball. Mm. Can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't there. do it unless I've seen them. Scottish, <laughs> I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> How have you been? Any ghosts? You good now? No more Fixed ghosts. It? You helped cool. me so well. I still remember. You still get your discount. Every room, half off. 
Oh, oh yeah. And Love of course, that. if you choose a random room, you get uh, one ticket less off the price, which means that any room would be just one ticket, unless you do the sweet suite. That would still be three tickets. Borba and I got plenty of tickets. I think uh, we've oh, really yeah. racked it in. So. Oh, so Th many tickets. It's on How us. How many did you get, Steve? Because I think I think we did a pretty good job. We did pretty good. to be honest with you. Sure, if you guys want to pick up the tab. Uh, I mean... I mean... It's a collection. It's you don't I mean, have to feel bad about how many tickets we're you got. We're a group here. This is a team effort. I no, just... if you feel like you want to pick up the tap, that's absolutely fine by me. I think we should do random rooms because it's more fun. That's fair. Uh, well, one ticket then. There you go. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna tip no the expense. one extra ticket. <laughs> Are we all bunking Ooh. together? Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. All our rooms have enough space for all of you to fit comfortably. Even the so, lizard. no problem there. Uh, Even please. the lizard. Wait, what? There's a big lizard. Yeah. Oh, I did not right see up. you. A new friend. Come, come <laughs> closer. Come closer. <laughs> ah, you found a lizard. Interesting. I haven't seen many lizards in the Revelia. It's yeah, he's a member of the bridal party. <gasps> this this one's getting married. Yeah, but Woo! it's a bachelorette party. You're getting when... married. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm so nervous, you know. Just one person for the rest of my life. I don't know what I'm doing. One person for the rest of my life. Ugh. I mean, if you are getting married, you should definitely get the sweet sweet. Forget about the random rolling and the dice. Just come, 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 come. And uh, she walks up the stairs as she gestures for you to follow her. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> oh, we only paid two tickets. Awesome. <laughs> 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 and she leads you to the end of the second floor hallway on the left. Um, and as you're walking, you see you a sign catches your eye that wasn't there before for those of you who have been here and the room uh the room that used to be the boring room now has a sign on the wall on the door now has a sign on the door that says the investigators of the occult and unusual wait a second wait a second <laughs> and she uh hands a candy cane <laughs> to the sweet sweet door and opens it for you and you all head into the candy forest leading to the cabin of the uh sweet sweet whoa yeah. this is oh is that that big lady in here oh good she she is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the big woman's still there <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry, Gertrude's gone. She will be visiting soon, though, so I cannot make sure you get a sweet sweet every time, but it is a special occasion with a wedding, so you're good. Now, make sure you have enough candy canes, and she points to the floor that has candy cane flowers growing, uh, to be able to exit and enter as much as you want. Okay? Okay, bye-bye! And she Bye. heads downstairs. I take she a lot of candy canes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all the canes. Well, not all of them, but a vast amount. I have like four. I feel like. Yeah, I'll grab a couple. Going in and out twice. I and mean, we can grab like some on the way out too, so. Yeah. And you head her to uh, a slightly cold, it's colder here than the rest of the Revalia. And among the trees are a brightly colored cottage that looks like a real life gingerbread house with piped icing around the windows and doors. And large pieces of sugar candy comprise the shutters and walkway. From the lush soil grow vibrant, faintly growing mushrooms made of cotton candy. And Steve, you would recognize them as the mushrooms in the pouch that you stole from Dr. Stella. Uh, and an inviting warm glow flickers in the cottage's windows, ready for you to take your reprieve. Oh. What Excellent. would you like to do? Uh, I'm, we didn't get food. Can we eat these candy canes? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, uh, you um, enter inside the cottage and you see two, you see three to takeout menus for um, candies, Felixes, and uh, Marges. Oh God! Now, I don't want Marges. What if it's like actually normal meat and we're just like making ourselves stressed because of the name, like the, the ch Chandler of flesh? Like, what if it's just like meat? normal, like. Inside investigation, the meat. 
I yeah. mean, there's no meat here. in front of you, but you could oh. order something. <laughs> it's room service. <laughs> yeah. I'll read you your options yes, for yeah. marriages. Yeah. yeah. So you have steak. Tastes like whatever you're craving. Put in sandwiches or eat it on its own. I don't care. I just want it gone. <laughs> wagyu beef. Pour yourself a cup of wagyu beef. It's just a cup oh. of wagyu beef. Deep fried okay. crunch and munch. Intense umami flavor. Ignore the gangrene. Uh, uh. Corn uh. dogs. Juicy dogs wrapped in tasty corn breading. Yum. I Pop never know pops. what those are. <laughs> These satisfying snacks are both slimy and crunchy. Chicken fingers. It's just regular chicken. Seriously. We promise. Cured meat. Once afflicted, now cured by the finest clerics at the <laughs> Revelia. <laughs> Sliced delicately. Perfect for sandwiches. Almost but not quite steak. A meat-like alternative for vegetarians. Note. Contains meat. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> and finally, wings. These bone-in wings come in your choice of deep-fried or baked sauce or unsauced. Okay. And I can copy that in the chat the for you as well if you would like to The and the wings are literally the only two that don't that sound, sound like, like I could they're go normal. For some wings, and we should also I... order one of those ghost beignets from Candies. Yeah. Emporium that she was eating earlier because she that looked really good. How much do they? How much does everything cost? Sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. So most of them is about two red tickets each. Uh, the big items are the deep fried cruncher munch, which are ten red tickets, and the wings, which are six red tickets. Oh. Again, Borba and I them. just just raked it in i'm willing to cover sure if you want to cover that's fine with me <laughs> i never agreed to this but okay I'll, it's on me you want I, to... I don't want you to feel bad about how, how many tickets you probably got that's fine with me you go right ahead <laughs> can i like look at steve's face and tell whether or not yes she's being cross smug roll, about this? De uh, deception and insight I nat 20. Wow. <laughs> oh my god! So many! Uh, she's super like back, bitches! She's just like, yeah, yeah, this is great. I totally didn't get that many tickets. <laughs> Alright, so we wanted wings. We wanted uh yeah. Borba, are you getting a steak as well? Yeah. So I would like to have I think that would be nice. And Steve, what did you want? Um Ugh. <laughs> Honestly, I understand. Yeah, I'm a little suspect of the steak, but I'm really hoping it's just a steak. <laughs> so you can like split the wings and the beignet, Steve. Do I mean, guys... but Mar Marge also recommended the, the corn dogs, didn't she? I mean, I'm just suspicious that there's. But Marge just is working with dog. the Chandler. It's gonna be like <laughs> the, ch <laughs> the Chandler, <laughs> the Chandler, the Chandler, the Chandler bong. Oh my God, you're working with the Chandler thing. Um, I'm fairly confident that if anything is poisoned, I can cure that. We're going to have well, to. Well, I'm. I think I'm interested in the cured meat. All right, so two steaks, a set of wings, cured meat, and then four ghost beignets for the house. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> How much um, is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just call it 40 red tickets because I don't want to math. I pull out my 32 red tickets and just kind of like sheepishly look at Borba. Uh, all right. <laughs> Would you like me Fun to Fun fact. The, the beignets are called Gertrude's Wonderments. Ooh. Um, all right. What are you doing? Are you pulling your tickets? <laughs> this is going to be annoying. <laughs> Just, I need someone to give me eight <laughs> red tickets. I'll <laughs> toss in eight tickets, darling. I, I, I have no tickets. Okay, I was like in the process of getting my pouch out. I'm like, oh, oh, Steve, <laughs> no, no, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can afford that. I, I have no tickets now. Look, <laughs> 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 we have some tickets. I mean, we did it together. But we're gonna You're have like... a delicious dinner. Yeah, and trying it's to be, be nice. worth it. If it's real meat and not weird meat. <laughs> There's like a nice chalkboard on the wall for you to write your order in. And as you do, it disappears. Um, and that's your ordering process. And not it doesn't take too long before the food arrives. Uh, so for those of you who ordered steak, there are no additional effects to consuming this meat. <gasps> This once <gasps> serving size, this one serving size of roasted mystery meat is served in a box with a question mark on the side. 
Uh, and then the meat is whatever Marge happened to source that day. So um, it's a surprise. The wings. These are unfortunately leathery and unpleasant to eat. The wings oh. are sourced from various creatures that perish throughout the Revalia. Um, oh. When you order this, you see a large baked fiendish wings pair of wings uh, that arrive for you. Great. Uh, cured meat. That was on the menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who was eating that, Steve? Well, I ordered it. I didn't say I was eating it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> I didn't say I was eating it yet. <laughs> okay, do you want to not eat disgusting. and take a point of exhaustion? Seven. <laughs> well, you get a point of exhaustion anyways. <laughs> From eating it? <laughs> Is it that rubbery? Fuck. <laughs> ah, Characters okay. who eat the cured meat must succeed on a DC 14 constitution saving throw or else take a level of exhaustion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> too fucking chewy. I mean, we're about to fall asleep. Yeah, you'll get rid of so, it. Yes. Yeah, it's And fine. now you all, was that everyone's food? Well, we got the beignets. And then now you all, yes, are enjoying the Gertrude's Wonderment. Deep fried pastries shaped like a ghostly figure of a woman. A woman that you all recognize. Uh, deep, the treats are huge and unwieldy, and this treat has no effect. They just taste good. Ooh. These are Gertrude's figgy pudding favorites treats. The prince oh. made a very good suggestion. Um, yeah, these are yes, great. But you said we recognized her, but you didn't say who it was. Oh, Gertrude. Someone. Oh, it oh, is okay. Gertrude. Yes. Oh, yes. I was just okay. thinking cool. like it was going telepathically into our brains and like <laughs> I was about to eat my sister in beignet form. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh that's cooler. Yeah, do that. You all oh, recognize now. these. Now. <laughs> I'm still like munching on this steak. Like, this is really good. Ah, yes. Yeah. You guys having a great time over there? Because I'm having a great time yeah, over here with this steak. Honestly, I'm so happy that you all decided to finally eat because I've been looking at these menus for some time. <laughs> and all, there are some very fun effects that come from eating the various well, foods. Well, fun so. for not me, but that's fine. Yeah. Oh. You picked the short end, the short straw this time. Um, but So you are getting ready for bed. Is there anything anyone would like to do before you take your long rest? Yes, I would like to make my cloak of many fashions for Asher. Yes, of course, you may do so. And all it is is, I think, does Asher have a cloak to begin with? No, yeah. Asher's no? kind of just got like monk robes. They kind of look like a mix between like doctor's uh, outfit and, uh, and robes. Well, do you have an uh, outer layer, an outer layer that I could work with? Um, I have travelers. I have a traveler's coat cloak in my uh, bag, and I just kind of like reach into the bag and pull out just like a pretty standard looking uh, traveler's cloak. Excellent. Um, and I think that I'm like, like in, almost like embroider on like the corners type of a thing. And now you have a cloak of many fashions. Ooh. It does Ooh. require attunement. All right. Uh, while wearing this close cloak, you can use a bonus action to change the style, color, and apparent quality of the garment. The cloak's weight doesn't change regardless of its appearance. The cloak can't be anything but a cloak. Although it can duplicate the appearance of other magic cloaks, it does not gain their magical properties. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to send that to you. Attune to it. Oh, yeah, I found it on D&D &D Beyond. Oh, excellent. Uh, How handy. I'm going to uh, attune to it and then change into Steve and try to make, like, <laughs> try to make the cloak look like your uh, like dress and uh, be like, oh, thank you, darling. This is magnificent. Thank you. Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll change back and I'll be like, uh, genuinely, the... The thing that's always made it difficult for me to do actually be other people, other than the fact that I can't impersonate them, is the fact that my clothes just stay the same. <laughs> well, hopefully this will help with that. I appreciate it. Um, is ben. it pushing it to also make an innovation or no? No, you can do it. <laughs> Go yes. for it. <laughs> stay up a little um, late. <laughs> You figure that out, and we'll yes. uh, go to the next people. Anyone else know what they would like to do, if anything, before going to bed? Um, Wilmer, do you want to do anything? Because I'm I'm gonna have a chat with with Asher at some point. I'm gonna like 
sit there. I have like a cup and I'm filling it with like my water from my flask since we came through the desert. I'm just kind of like sitting there just like, <laughs> yep, this is a, it's a fun night, huh? Yep. <laughs> uh, Borba, <clears throat> you gain 12. 14 oh. hit points. <laughs> from drinking the fucking pond or the oh I do yes oh that water from the desert of course the magical what? oasis water that no one drank <laughs> wow of course I am only missing four hit points I don't even need to sleep <laughs> you bottled a health potion and didn't even know it wow yeah, true I'm just like hmm, feeling pretty good right now how about you Asher how you how you feeling um, good. That steak was great. I right? I think I'm right? going to take the notes that uh, Steve so gracefully stole for me. Uh, I've been meaning to try to learn some more about the various um, conditions that people seem to acquire here. So mm. I think I'm going to I'm going to take the rest of this Goliath beignet uh, and eat uh, a kind of designated. Actually, researching in the woods sounds nice. I think I'm going to take it out into the woods and research these oh. notes. Uh, okay. Then... Yeah, cool, cool. If oh, anyone just, knows anything, let me know. Just, just, can I just, like, say something? Is anybody else around? Like, is it just it's me? It's a pretty and large cottage, so, okay. yeah, so I'm just you like, can have space. I'm just like, I just wanted to, like, like, I know you were, like, keeping stuff from us and it like seemed like I was justified and I kind of made you say it and I feel kind of bad about it and I, I this is really hard I don't know like I was justified in wanting you to say it but also I feel like I could have been nicer about it so I don't know I feel like I'm kind of an asshole so I, I just wanted you to know that like there's no hard feelings right like I mean like I'm, if I'm, I'm if I'm being honest uh I did come down on you and, and, and Steve a bit harsh for attacking those the punks. They did have it coming, and then I did hit one over the head with my... St uh, so I think there's an element of... I could tell that you didn't seem to like me, and I think I was sort of projecting my own discomfort and whatever. It wasn't that I didn't like you. I just, like, I didn't Trust. know what the heck was going on, yes. and, like, you were bonding with Wilmer so fast, and, like, you didn't know who I was, and I am just... I'm talking a lot, and I just wanted you to know that I'm not really holding anything against you. And I have a lot of shit that I'm dealing with, and I hope that I didn't project any on to you either. So, yeah, yeah, I... that's yeah. And I drink more of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I... Finishing your water, you gain your remaining hit points. Sweet. <laughs> that water is making you look great. Very hydrated. Thank, thank you so much. I'm really, yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, I almost feel I shouldn't accept your apology because it's not needed. Uh, I I was uh, I was shady and I was clearly hiding something. And um, yeah, but like you should have thought you should have like realized what I was thinking. Like it was way I like not that you were thinking. Was I know I know you can't. I know I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that you could do magic or like to like hear what I'm thinking. But I'm just like I thought it was like some dark, like evil, like betrayal stuff, and I'm very happy that it wasn't. I mean, I We're... read I read that when you fight, <laughs> ghosts come out, and I was a little bit intimidated by that. As I oh yeah, it's pretty yeah. No, that's just my dead family. It's fine. And <laughs> I I didn't even understand. I my. My Cliff. family are back in the city, and 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 and, and I've, I've seen a lot of death. I've watched a lot of a lot of people die, and and the fact that you can harness that loss into into a power is just a bit in, intimidating. And yeah. I I think I wanted to be cooler. And the fact that the prince liked me right away, I was like, yes, the prince likes <laughs> me. This is incredible. I. I I'm Wilmer likes a lot of people. It, not that he that's not a cool thing. Not that that's really you know what you're right. The fact that Wilmer liked you right off the bat is super wow. awesome. But it, was like, it was like is that Wilmer thing here? With like, I'm so sorry. I think, Wilmer, I think you know, we're he's like over the, there. We're okay, like he, he the didn't hear me. I, I my voice really carries though. That, I'm really worried that, that, that you heard me say like, that. We're like a teenager who's like finding themselves like you, and you're like cool. I'm like one of those. I'm only like twenty. 
three or something, but a teenager thought I was cool and thinking a teen a teenager thinking you're cool when teenagers don't like anything is like Yeah, I, I guess I could respect that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm honestly just here to help and I'm sorry that I I didn't do that out right out the bat and I, I accept your apology and I hope that you know that I didn't mean any of you any harm. No, I, I think yeah. You're cool, Asher. I hold up my empty glass of water <laughs> as if I was cheersing, and I'm like, I'm used to drinking stuff a little harder than this that late at night, so I'm sorry. Bye. I'm gonna go to bed now. Bye. <laughs> I, I like cheers my the rest of my ghost beignet, and I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna study out here. I goodbye. I guess. Good okay. Night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna go sleep now, so I should do a thing. Uh, I'm just gonna Ooh. spend a, a bit to read the notes. So, uh, so Char. Yes, what did you roll? I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you girl's not gonna go sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, no. oh boy. No. You get plus three to that roll, cause you're sleeping with flu. Oh, that's um, right. Okay, so, so it'll a be a six. six. I mean, mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, Borba, you it's will have a restless sleep um, mm -hmm. You will have a point of exhaustion, having not right. gained the benefits of a full rest. But you do, Wait. you do have full HP because of your drinking of the Oasis water. So that worked out. What? Um, Asher, as you are perusing the notes before you go to sleep, you are seeing in delicate handwriting that can only be Dr. Stella's scrawlings of symbols and somatic movements that you don't even need to roll to recognize as being an alternative form of lesser restoration. And you also see the ointment recipe that includes various uh, mushrooms that, of the cotton candy nature, uh, as well as Revelia raindrops. Hmm. And these um, two sort of uh, pieces of information are, there's like a, other note scribbled on top of them where they're like added together with a little plus symbol and a question mark like Stella was working on something here but didn't quite finish the thought so do I think that I can you can roll a medicine check with advantage to try and decipher these notes heck yes heck yeah doctoring yeah <laughs> 17 yeah, with a 17, you are able to decipher this, and you think you know how you might be able to do it yourself as a cure. You have finished Stella's notes. You know the last step uh, for a cure of clown. Uh, I'm blanking on what I called it. Clown thrall disease. Nice. All right, I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, like, almost giddily be like, I'm going to surprise the prince. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wilmer, what is up? Oh, I was just going to say that when Wilmer, like as soon as he walks into the hut, I think he puts on like 12, like as soon, I mean, after the food and all that stuff, puts on like 12 layers of the nose creams and all this. <laughs> 12 layers, that ought to do it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he doesn't know how long he's going to be asleep for. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Steve, did you finish figuring out what you would like to create? Yeah, no, I failed all my rolls for it. So I no! made nothing. Oh, no. I mean, you made my cool cloak. Yeah, this that's still awesome. This is true. Um, so we finished, uh, Borba, what happens during your sleep. You have a very restless night due to nightmares. I mean, you faced Hecna head on, who brought up some very uncomfortable memories. I saw a vision of, of your past childhood traumas. trauma. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So not a good sleep for poor Borba. Mm -mm. Um, and you all awake the next morning. Nothing happens during the evening. You are safe in the sweet sweet. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, go deliver the coin to Pinky. Yeah. Is there any yes. coffee in here? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Can we order um, coffee? Is there, or is it all like chocolate? weird magic juice that's gonna poison us? There cause... is a hot chocolate machine in Heck this yeah, cottage. Yeah, hot chocolate. Oh, I guess that'll do. Borba, Should... make a perception check. Oh boy, 
Okay. Well, I have disadvantage in all my checks now, so. Uh, you can make um, this check flat. Oh, okay. That's an 18 then. Uh, as you hear Wilmer saying, heck yeah, I'm making some hot chocolate, you notice Wilmer's teeth are pointed very uh -oh. similarly to those of Pinky. Hey, Wilmer! Do you want to? What's up? Oh, oh my god. god. Hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come over here first? Is it just like, no, I'm come almost, too close. I'm almost what? done the hot chocolate. Give me, give me. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay, hey okay. Hey, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Go hey, hot guys. What's up? What's hey, up? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You want to just smile for everybody for a second? I'm just like, I'm just like, hold up my arms, like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> like, just smile. Doing the Will just... Smith pose. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, oh my god! Yeah, Who are your teeth? That's um, They're, that's not um, normal. That's a bit concerning. That's I'm gonna be honest. Thing. That's but um. Run your tongue over your teeth, darling. Not too Carefully. hard though. You might cut it. But... Carefully. Oh my. Eh. Eh. Your teeth. De you definitely feel a difference here, Wilmer. Um. What's normally a flat like line of pristine teeth, you have excellent dental care in Bellspire, um, <laughs> is no longer the case. Your teeth, you also feel a little bit of pain in your teeth as they have definitely changed into sharp points. Uh, you, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah. change to look like uh, Wilmer, but like the current point, be like, you look like this, uh, Prince. Ben. Oh, boy. Oh, you all oh, no. also see the schnozzling attached to Wilmer's face um, twitching more so than normal. It's like oh, a continuous no. movement. This might be a good time. I did some research last night, and good news, yeah. I've discovered a cure for this, which might be, this might be one of the symptoms. Well, oh, that's, that's excellent. That's very good. Please continue. Please. Yep. Uh, um, I I I don't know, guys. I kind of I kind of like the comedic effect of being able to go honk and when they touch my nose, <laughs> and then immediately the loudest honk you all have ever <laughs> oh. heard comes out. Oh God, out. damn it! <laughs> See, it's, it's, it, that's kind of funny though, right? Honk, honk. So you're saying you? <laughs> Everyone make rather... a wisdom save. Oh Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sarah giggles. Uh, Thirty twenty. Fifteen. <laughs> Are wisdom are, are saving throws also a disadvantage when I'm a, at a one or is it just ability checks like regular oh. checks? Um, I think a save counts as flat. Yeah. Okay, I'll. It's a twelve. Uh, Borba, you are washed with a feeling of love and hilarity right now. Yes. What Wilmer has been doing right. is fucking funny, right? I mean, it's pretty funny. I mean, right. Right. I mean. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Yeah, that's kind of that's pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. When I like drink my hot chocolate because I'm laughing, some of it comes out of my nose. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm really tired or it, I don't remember it being that funny last night, but it's, it's pretty, pretty funny. funny. It's pretty funny. It's right? pretty funny. Asher, <laughs> darling. Oh my goodness. You said you had a cure. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, the prince seems happy. But if if it's the honking that's the thing, I feel like this disease is gonna get worse. And if, if a honky nose is all you want, then I'm sure that Steve could probably I make you one. I can whip something up, darling. I can't hear you, Sarah. I cannot hear you, Sarah. It's kind of cute. But I like no it. It goes <laughs> honk. I uh, tell you what. We'll, we'll, we'll... And now he's laughing. He's yelling really loud. That's so funny. Am I right? What? I... Can I, can I like insight yeah, Borba? Because yeah. I, I think that the fact that Borba's all fucky concerns me. Yes, you may <laughs> insight Borba. Can I also do this? Yes, both of you may just insight. On... 21. I'm just giggling away. I'm just like, it's a 13. fucking clown nose. It's so Ooh. funny. <laughs> um, yeah, Asher, you, th you clock that it's weird, but it's not super weird. It is a little funny. Uh, uh -oh. Steve, this definitely does not seem like the Borba you know. Something's going on that's making her think oh, that this is hilarious when it is very clearly not. May I? Uh, Char, may I? Yes. This whole house is like a gingerbread house, right? 
Mm-hmm. Perfect. I'm gonna walk over to the counter. Okay. Uh, Prince, I think that, uh, you know what would be really funny? What? Curing this disease. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that doesn't sound funny. Oh, 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 but you, but you wait, it's <laughs> like, all in the I, delivery. I think like medicine isn't necessarily hilarious. Have you never I, seen Cash while Adams he says before? That, uh, while I say uh, that, I'm gonna like just hit the countertop really hard to try to break a chunk off. Oh yeah, strength check. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, bud. You know what they say about me, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that's not bad. I got uh, 14 minus one, 13. Uh, 13 is not enough to break Aww. this hard candy countertop that is oh, very you, similar to cement. Do you want Do you want some of this gingerbread candy stuff? I got you. I oh. take my axe and I like chop a piece <laughs> off. And I'm like, you know, hey, bud. With disadvantage, oh, you know. make oh, yeah, a strike yeah. check. Or okay. attack, or attack roll. I will, I will attack with the thingy, with the, the axe that I have in my hand. <laughs> you know, the thingy. Thing. Let's do. Your big burly axe. Wow, this is going to be good, guys. Yeah, this not is good. not going to be good because I got a nine and then a 19. So we're going to take the nine. Yeah, th this this is like hard as stone <laughs> like, right oh now. Oh my god. Gosh darn Ooh. it. This uh, is some I was hard stuff. When I'm, I was waiting for when I might need this. I cast message into Wilmer's head. Yep. God Steve is coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wilmer, darling, I think maybe you should t reconsider the cure. Hello? He's like saying this out loud. <laughs> Hello? Hi. So DM, Hi. DM, what is the cure? <laughs> Uh, you're, you need to combine the material component of the uh, salve that Wilmer has with this new uh, sigil that you have written in these notes to be able to cast the Lesser Restoration spell in a way that would affect Clown Thrall disease. I'm going to sidle up to Steve and whisper, you have to steal the salve. <laughs> I steal it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll a sleight of hand. Nineteen. And um, Wilmer, roll perception. Okay. Eighteen. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. Oh. Steve. You get it. Okay. I'm um there, and I'm like, I'm like hitting the counter, and I'm like. I want to eat the countertop! <laughs> just lick it. And it's I'm gonna, like, candy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's true. It's candy. Just lick it. <laughs> say that out loud, and I'm just going to, like... I do. I say that out loud. I'm like, like it's like a toddler. I got to keep countertop. them occupied. <laughs> <laughs> like teething on the countertop. Um, <laughs> Wilbur, as you... Oh, when, we, we, when we get an animated series, this scene is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big dreams, big dreams. Mm. Um, Wilbur, this is not enough for you. This is what? incredibly it's... frustrating for yeah. you. Guys, this isn't even sweet. It's like the, the gross grandmother graham crackers. Do you want one of the Those candy canes? What are you talking about? Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to grab your candy cane, and I'm going to grab one of mine, and I'm going to... <laughs> I was about to do a very crude hand <laughs> But I stick both of them in my mouth. Yeah, this is good, but it won't sustain you for long. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like gesturing to Steve to give me the salve. I swear. Oh, I gave, yeah, I gave Asher the okay. salve, like as soon as I got it. Uh, I'm gonna like walk up to uh, Wilmer and be like, um, I know where you can find just the most delectable uh, candy. Uh, I learned a spell from this place that will mm -hmm. tell you where the most delicious candy is. A trail of candy will lead you to the most delicious candy. May you I cast this spell on you? You have a spell that tells me where the candy, that doesn't sound like it's a spell. It's called Locate Candy. Like, wouldn't it candy. tell you? No. Yes, I've heard of this spell. You just said no, candy. you did. Okay, this, this. Not for me, it's for, for you. Conflicting, and I'm gonna, sorry, I've been saying this with candy in my mouth the entire time. <laughs> about my now sharpened uh, candy canes. Be like, guys, this is gonna go one of two ways. One way, you guys help me get some jelly babies 
off of this graham cracker house. And the other way is you guys get stabbed with some candy canes. Why uh, don't you put the candy Char, cane down and we can have a normal conversation? Char, I cast snare right in front of Wilmer. <laughs> and then I say, come this way, Wilmer, darling. There's candy that's e more easily available over here. Uh, Wilmer, because you are right in front of Steve when they cast it, you have an advantage on this investigation check, um, okay. but you still may fail. Yeah, that's 16 uh, to pass. Uh, oh, 18. Oh, <laughs> you know that Steve was trying to trick you. Steve, I thought we were friends. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak up behind Wilmer, well distracted by uh, Steve, and try to like, to, like chop on the side of uh, Wilmer's neck. Damn! Holy crap! Question: Is my thing my wisdom save? I just think that the nose is funny, right? I don't. I'm not like charmed to protect Wilmer in any way. Uh, or you? Yes. Thank you for asking okay. this question. You are a fan you are more on the team of keeping the nose where it is okay um, i won't say that you will attack anyone who's trying to take it off but you definitely okay. want to try and reason with the group okay All i right. mean like if the nose stays guys i got a 21 then to hit Wilbur. <laughs> maybe it maybe this will help us like blend in because a lot of other people are uh -huh. looking a little i agree incredible. i agree <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah! Oh, their neck. I'm doing non-lethal damage, so that's uh, eight points of non-lethal, and I'm gonna shoot a key point in to do stunning strike. Okay, uh, to remind me what Wilmer has to do to avoid stunning strike. It is one moment a uh, con save against my DC 13, which isn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wilmer. Yeah, it's a dirty Oh my 20. god. Wow. I'm, I'm going to pump a key point to Flurry of Blows. So I just start like <laughs> punching the back of down <laughs> down Wilmer's spine. <laughs> like it's like acupressure and trying to like I'm like, trying go to, to find sleep, that, go to sleep. I'm finding that one spot. Uh, but also, hey, hey, if you push Wilmer forward into the snare, that might work. <laughs> first one's a 15 to hit. Uh does not hit, I don't yeah. think. That oh. hits. Oh, because you don't have your mage armor. Yes. No meaning. So that's... Corpus just there like, whoa, 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 ah. whoa. <laughs> Five points of uh Yeah, your friends are attacking Wilmer, Borba. Full on attacking. Doing damage, I'm not need or not. Why don't I? OK, I'm going to like, I do I have, did I see where Steve put the snare? <laughs> Roll investigation <laughs> with Fuck, advantage. I don't want to walk right into it, but I want to like walk to uh, Asher and Mary. Like, so I thought we were talking exhausted. about how we were going to help the team, and it was an investigation you wanted me to do? Yes. Yeah. You okay. can roll it flat. DC 16. Oh. Well, that was a seven, so. Yeah, I don't you know have where no it is. fucking idea, so you well, probably walk into it if you weren't walking <laughs> up to Steve. Uh, I'm not going to walk to Steve, I'm going to walk to Asher. Oh, okay. Sorry. So but, give, I'm, I'm also pumping another point for another stunning strike, so give me another DC 13 con save. Ah, 13. Uh, Save. that passes. So then my final punch <laughs> from Flurry of Blows is going to be a 11. Okay, that one doesn't hit, but the Can other I one did. Can I walk over to Azure and try to, I guess, grapple? I don't know. Oh, no. I guess that's what it should, to I'm hold them back I'm... so that they're not attacking my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we need to just sit down and have a chat because this is getting a little heated and I don't like getting heated. <laughs> uh, um, Opposed strength checks for Borba and Asher. Oh no. <laughs> uh, well, but Borba, I have disadvantage, so. disadvantage. And also Wilmer, um, before whatever is happening right now is happening, you can definitely that get was a turn. <laughs> Perfect. For being attacked. I got a because seven. Well. I'm going to sword burst a circle of spectral blades around me that are gonna look suspiciously like broken hard candies. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, you know what I rolled for my disadvantage? What? I rolled a nat twenty and then an eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. I mean an eight still beats Asher seven, so you I do grapple them. Well. That's fair. I'm like, hey, you need to we need to take a breath. Our friend needs help. He's clearly sick. But you don't need to 
punch them. He will not allow. I need to apply the medicine. This is me we're talking about here. I always punch people. You are people. all being shredded by <laughs> Wilmer's hard uh, candy right oh now. Oh, God. Even me? Wilmer, What's I'm the, trying to help up. you. What's the radius of it? Um, it is a five foot radius around me. I'm not in that. I'm like at least five feet away. How much damage do we take? <laughs> uh, well, it's a uh, uh, DC 16 dex or um, cool. 26 of damage. I think I get disadvantage on dex because I'm being grappled. <laughs> yes, and Barbara also has disadvantage because of um, the exhaustion. dex save. I, yeah. got, a, I yeah. got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Let's see if I get worse than a six. I don't, so it's a six. <laughs> you guys take a whole three candy damage. Ah, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's um, so sweet and it's so sharp. And it well, is that at this point that tonight's episode is going to have to end. Oh, boy. Hard ah! candy emits from Wilmer, spinning across the room, slashing you across the face, not doing lethal damage, but still injuring the two of you, Borba and Asher, as a sight comes across Wilmer's eyes that you have not seen before and he grins at you. <gasps> and that is where the episode will oh end. Oh my ah. yes. uh, Evil Clown uh, Wilmer! Uh, <laughs> Evil Clown like Wilmer! It. So, Everybody did so good! <laughs> that was a good episode. <laughs> uh, housekeeping! <laughs> housekeeping! Housekeeping! Housekeeping? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Wow. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. We are at a hotel, House so. Housekeeping, hey? <laughs> uh, the easiest <laughs> way to support Tabletop Titties is to become a patron at patreon.com forward slash tabletop titties. And did we shout out our, I can't remember. You got to do the, 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 the Indiegogo Wonder, shout out. Yeah. Yes, and the Patreon yes, yes. shout, producer <laughs> shout out. Yes, that's what I was asking. Blunderbuss Hornswoggle. <laughs> 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 Thank you for being a Patreon producer. Thank you for um, being a friend. <laughs> Thank you for being a Patreon producer. Um, oh my gosh, where did my tab go? Ah, guys, I'm losing it. It's the chaos um, of Wilmer attacking. It really, really is. I'll just blame Wilmer. That's fine. <laughs> um, but you all attacked you first. <laughs> I did, I, I did not I attack. Did not I set a trap. That. You set a <laughs> trap for me when I was just trying to break and eat a countertop. <laughs> I tried to help you with that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, if you want to check out our merch, <laughs> you can go to tables.threadless.com. Uh, make sure to check out. We're keeping our pride collection up there, and all profits from that go towards community, which is a nonprofit based in Vancouver. Uh, come back tomorrow for Titties by Night at 8.30 p.m. PST. Make sure you're following us on social media at Tabletop Titties. And if you tweet using hashtag TT Titties, there might end up being an NPC named after you, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty neato. It's pretty neat. Today's Indiegogo shout out goes to Jennifer Forbes. Thank you so much. Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, and all this information can be found on our website, which is www.tabletoptitties.com. Every time I say titties, it's with double Ds. Ka-chow. See you next you. time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.